We're going to calculate the curved surface area of this lampshade by considering it as part of a cone. Because the base radius is 6 and the top radius is 3, you can see that the total perpendicular height of a cone will be 10, which is just 5 out of 5. We can use this to work out the length of this lamp on the top part of a cone using Pythagoras' theorem. So that will be 5 squared add 3 squared, which is 25 add 9. So that will be the square root of 34. The curved surface area of this cone, we can use the formula pi r l. L is the length we've just worked out. So the radius is 3 times it by pi times it by the root of 34. Now we can work out the curved surface area of the entire cone. That perpendicular height will be 10 and the base radius will be 6. So the length of a slant for the entire cone will be 10 squared plus 6 squared, which is square root of 136. So the curved surface area will be pi r l. So 6 pi times a slant, which is the root of 136. So the difference between these two curved surface areas will give us the area of the fuss drum, or in this case the lampshade, and that'll be 6 pi root 136 minus 3 pi root 34. So the curved surface area of the hollow lampshade will be 164.87 centimetres squared.